Welcome to the SolidCam University channel. This video's topic is custom drilling or porting tools. So you've seen in a previous video that we can create a shape profile to create a shape tool for things like a router cut or a swarf cut. In this video, we're gonna actually create a shape tool for a drilling application. Here, we'll use it as a porting tool. So we'll begin by going to Tools, Solid Cam, Tool Library, Shape Tools, and let's say we add a new group, or we can add it to an existing group, and we'll just add a tool, and it automatically brings us to this basic definition screen. So we're going to use the shapes on the side here to generate our, uh, our shape tool profile. So because this porting tool should have a drill, portion to it and I think two chamfers to it. You'll see here on the screen here, chamfer one, chamfer two. We're gonna create the profile based off that. So we'll start with the drill tip. We'll just create this cone real quick. Then the body of the drill will be represented by the cylinder. Then at the top, we'll put two more cones, cone one, cone two, to represent the two chamfers. And then we'll just add that cylinder right there to just kind of uh, give us some space, and then we'll add another cylinder for the shank. So let's go to cone one. Cone one, there are four parameters here. Uh, the angle I want to define, the bottom diameter and the top diameter I want to define, the height, I'm not, I'm not sure what it is, but I want it to auto-calculate auto it for me based off of the other three parameters. So we'll start with the angle. The angle will be 118, just like a standard drill. Bottom diameter, because this is the drill tip, I'm gonna set that to zero. And then for my top diameter, I want that to be 0.5885, which is the diameter of the drill. So cylinder two, I want the diameter of cylinder two, or the second cylinder, I should say, to be that 0.5885. And the height to be 0.69. Now I'm getting these dimensions from the actual print of the, um, of the part, the port dimensions. This is where you'll get these dimensions from when you go to create your shape tool. Cone two, um, well, cone two, I'm going to calculate the angle. The height I actually have from my, my print as 100 thou. Bottom diameter will be the 0.5885 so that it, it uh, transitions from that one. And then the top diameter I have on my print to set it to 0.79. Okay, we'll go to cone three. Again, I'll calculate the angle. We'll start with the height, and according to my little print, it should be 0.4, but I'm actually gonna make it 0.5, because this is now starting to be the top chamfer, so I wanna have some, some room for, for cutting. Bottom diameter, I have that set to 1.02, and top diameter, 1.1. But again, top diameter, I can make it whatever I want. I'm going to say, let's make it 125. Okay, and then cylinder two, that just represents the, uh, the rounding out area. I'm just going to make this 1.125. And the height of that, let's just make it a half inch. And then cylinder three, that represents the shank. Cylinder three represents the shank. So we're just gonna make that, let's say, diameter of one inch. And the height, let's make that two inches. So that's just the shank. I want something that I can hold inside of a, a standard holder. Okay, so that'll be under new group shape. We'll just save that shape profile. Exit out of there. And I'm gonna close this down. And I'm gonna open up a previously set up part. So I've gone ahead and I've defined my stock, my target, my coordinate system, and I actually have two operations preloaded. Uh, the second operation is the tapping operation that will follow this porting tool. So essentially the porting tool, the custom shape tool profile is so that I have a single tool that goes in there, it pre-drills the hole and adds the chamfers. So this is something you can get from a local tooling supplier. So I'll just go into that operation. It is a standard drilling operation. I've chosen those holes, my tool, 
go to Browse for Tool. And I've actually saved this as a um, as a previous tool, but let's actually create a brand new one here. So it's going to go to Drill, because I want to define this as a drill. Then I'll go to Shape, Global, and these are all my shape profiles. So the one we just created is this guy right here. So I'm just going to check that box and add that shape profile to my tool. So I open up the tool window. That's how it comes in. It basically defines it as the overall length, the shoulder length, cutting length, all of that as the overall of the part. But I want to go and actually define this for, for in terms of re, uh, real dimensions. So the cutting diameter was the 0.5885 of the drill. The angle of the drill is the 118. The arbor diameter, we set it to one inch. It took the total length from the sketch. So it knows that the total length is about 3.5 something. Um, outside the holder, I want that to be 1.5168, so just the two inches out, the two inches that I made for the shank. Shoulder length, let's set that as, and let's just do some math real quick off screen here. So the height of the cylinder was 1.8. Point one eight plus point six nine plus point one plus point oh five. Okay, so outside the shoulder length should be one point two, and we'll say cutting length of one point one. See now you can see that the gray versus the yellow. The the yellow represents the cutting surface. That's that one point one oh. That's that one point oh two, and I'm just going to make those the same. And the gray represents the non-cutting surface of this shape tool, of this custom tool. In this case, it's just the shank and this little step right here. And I can add a holder if I like as well. So I'm just gonna add a one inch holder and that represents our shape tool we're gonna use. If we just add this little visual tool icon, we'll see that the tool has the shape. Everything else here is programmed as you would imagine a drilling operation is done. So we're gonna do upper level of this top face Drill depth, I'm going to drill right to the drill point because, again, we're using a shape tool and I've defined it to go right to that point. And technology, you can use whichever drill cycle you like. If I do a save and calculate on that, and let's do a solid verify on this. The shape profile of the tool results in a solid verification of a port. And then from there, I did a save and copy using the same drill uh, drill points and I've added my tapping cycle. So if we do a simulation on that real quick, I've basically gone in and just tapped afterwards. So in two operations, I've completed this port. Any questions on this or anything else from this video or other videos in the SolidCam series, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts and your questions via the ticket system at SolidCamSupport.com or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.